Let me first thank everyone involved with this incredibly important conference. The national and your local board members and staff that I know have worked so hard. And a special shout out to Gilda's Club of Metro Detroit for hosting the conference this year. You know, your leadership is incredibly important as we work through ways to fight such deadly diseases and find cures. Over the past few years, as you know, we have been working very hard to climb back from cuts in National Institute of Health research funding and flat funding years. And finally, we're at a point where we've been able to get a $2 billion increase last year in the NIH budget for life-saving research to find cures. Thank you for uh, your individual voices and collective voices in speaking out to push so hard. And we need to keep pushing this year, next year, and next year. We all stand also with Vice President Biden and his family in their commitment to the cancer moonshot finding better treatments and bringing researchers together to one day develop a cure. This can happen and it will happen if all of us stay focused. With the Affordable Care Act, we know what a difference it makes when cancer is no longer being treated as a pre-existing condition and there are no co-pays for screenings and preventative care and the other areas of support for patients. No one, no family should have to go broke trying to beat cancer. So I'm proud to be your partner, introducing the resolution recognizing July as Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, co-sponsoring the ACE Kids Act to create the national networks to coordinate the care of children on Medicaid, and also as your partner by co-sponsoring a bill that would waive Medicare cost sharing for certain cancer screening tests. So whatever I can do to help, count me in. We have all been impacted by cancer. And if we work together, we're gonna to beat this thing.